Sorry for all the intertubes. This video I'd like to show you how you can work out all your scale patterns that completes the neck so you can play all over the neck in any key. We're going to do this example in A minor because A minor, the key of A minor has no sharps or flats so it's a bit easier to work out. So if we start on the 5th fret with the E we get the note A so we want to create a pattern that gives us all the notes of the key of A minor which is just A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So if we look at the 5th fret we've got the A note. So the next note in the key is a note B so we can't use that one because that's A sharp so we play B. So then think what's your next note obviously it's C so where is that and it's there so you've got A, B and C. Obviously you run out of fingers so we need a new string. So the last note we played was C so we need to find D on the A string which is there on the 5th. Next note will be E, so E is there, that's D sharp, there you've got E. Next note would be F, where is it? Directly after E, because there's no E sharp. Run out of fingers again, so it's the next string, so we've done F, we need to find where G is, which is on the 5th of the D. G sharp is next, we can't use that, so it's back to A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, back to A. For the second half, we need to know what the next note is, which is B. We're not going to do it there, it's a bit of a stretch, so we're going to move back a fret to the fourth fret of the G for the B note. Then we think, what's next? C, which is there. Can't use C sharp, so we're going to go to D, B, C, D. Run out of fingers, next string, we need to find where E is and that's going to be the 5th fret of the B string E then F is next which is right next to E again there's no E sharp then we need to find where G is which is there run out of fingers next string there's A B and C that's how I worked out my shapes or modes or whatever you want to call them for now I was with a keyboard player and I uh, was doing some lead lines with him and I, some notes worked, some didn't and I said to him, oh, you know, I want to add in some more notes and he said, well, this is in the key of A minor so any natural note should work quite well so I went away and I thought, OK, I need to memorise where all the natural notes are so that's what I did, I just showed you how I worked out that pattern then I realised that, oh, there's natural notes here as well. So you can move up to the next position. The last pattern started on A, so the next pattern will start on B, which is the next note in the scale. A, B. So you put your first finger on B. Now we're in a different position of the next, so we need a different pattern. So all you do is find the natural notes again. B, C, D. Run out of fingers, next string. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. So that's the key to it really, you just think, you start on a note that's in the key, each pattern will start on one of the notes in the key, only this one will start on the root note, because there's only one E, sorry one A on the E string which is there, and when you reach the octave. So each new pattern will start on the next note in the scale, so you'll have one that will start on A, you'll have one that will start on B, the one that starts on C is the same position, so therefore the same pattern, so you get two modes if you like in that one position. Next note will be D, so new position, then you look to E and you get another shape, F would be the next note and it's the same deal between the B and the C, you get this semitone interval, so there's no position shift, so therefore there's no new pattern. So you start on F. You don't have to start on F, but that's what it would be technically, but you can use the E as well. Then you'd start on G. I mean, you don't have to memorise that. I'm playing these two quickly, but I'm really showing you how to work them out yourself. So that start on G. 
And if you wanted to work that pattern out, you just think what's next in the key, which is A, which is there. Run out of fingers, so you go to the next string, where's B? There. You want C next, where is it? It's there. So that's the kind of thing you need to do really, is just think what's the next note in the key and where is it? And that's how you build up your patterns. The other important thing to remember is make a note of where your root notes are, in other words, where the note A is in each pattern. So this one starts on A, it's the only one that starts on A. It's the natural minor scale, otherwise known as the Aeolian mode. And all the others start on different notes from the scale. This one starts on B, but the root note is still A, so you need to find where the first A is. B, C, D, E, F, G, A. So the root note for this pattern is there. The first note you play on the D string, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven notes from the starting note. That's where your root note is. So wherever you play that pattern, whatever note you end up on, on the D string, will tell you what key you're in. So if I play, say, here, what am I doing? Yeah. That's the note C. So in the key of C. So work out where your A's are on all of those patterns, for example this one. The second note we play is A. This pattern was the one that we did up here. It starts on G. It's not the root note, it's just the starting note. It's one of the notes in the scale. The second note you play is where your root note is. So if you wanted to play that, say if you've got a particular lick you like playing in that shape, and you wanted to do it in the key of E, you'd make sure that the second note you play is E. So your little finger lands on the root note, being A. So if you wanted to do that in the key of E, you'd start on D, so that the second note you play is E, which is the key you want to be in, because that's where your root note is. So if you're in the key of E, you get your notes of the key of E. And that pretty much wraps up that. If you like what I do, subscribe below, leave a like please, thank you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bonjour for now.